Yo, what's up guys? It's King Sean here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be discussing who the commanders should pick at number two overall between Drake May and Jaden Daniels. So, if you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on the 3K subscribers, so if you could hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it was on Saturday is when Daniel Jeremiah released his first 2024 NFL mock draft. And at number one overall, he had the Bears taking Caleb Williams, which is, I mean, the obvious pick as of right now, the unanimous among all draft expertise, analysts, and anyone who makes mock drafts. Everyone has Caleb Williams going one to the Bears. If they don't go um, Williams one, then the Bears will most likely take Marvin Harrison Jr., and then we have the second overall pick. Now, um, we could go a lot of ways, specifically with quarterback. We could draft Drake May or we could draft Jaden Daniels, um, which is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. We could also go O-line or wide receiver, but that's most likely if we decide to build around Sam Howell, which I don't think is going to happen. Sam Howell, he just wasn't good this se past season. All right, he just wasn't, especially late towards the season, late into the season. So... We're most likely going to take a quarterback, Adam Peters, and whoever we bring in as our next head coach, probably Ben Johnson. Well, it's most likely going to be a Ben Johnson. We'll, be we'll decide to take a quarterback at number two overall. Daniel Jeremiah has us going with Drake May. His reasoning for that, he didn't put a lot of reasoning for every single pick, but he basically said it's a new era in Washington led by general manager um, Adam Peters. The commanders find their quarterback of the future and Drake May. Now look, I like all three of the big three quarterbacks, all right, which is Caleb Williams, uh, Drake May, and Daniel Daniels. However, if I had to rank them, I would put Williams at one, Drake May at two, Daniels at three. I really, really, really like Drake May. And I've been seeing way too many Commanders fans saying, oh, he's just a taller Sam Howell. Oh, we should just keep Sam Howell if we want to draft Drake May. He is not a taller Sam Howell. First off, um, yes, he is tall. He's, he's 6'4", 232 pounds. He's your prototypical um, quarterback, though. He's probably the most pro-ready quarterback in this draft, maybe besides Caleb Williams. But you can make the argument that he's more pro-ready than Caleb Williams. So, like I said, tall, prototypical, generates high-level velocity with effortless case and a crisp, snappy release. Um, he's got a pretty strong arm. He's got a um, decently sized arm. He's very accurate. Like, I watched his film um, a couple days ago. He's a pretty, pretty, pretty accurate quarterback. He can he can push the ball outside the numbers. Um, he's kind of like, you, you could compare him to Josh Allen. Now, I think Josh Allen has the stronger arm by far. But if you look at the way Josh Allen plays, I mean, he plays with a Superman cape on, really. He is, he's just, he's he, I wouldn't say he's careless, but he just does what he wants. All right, so and that's kind of how Drake May plays as well. Now that can be good and bad. Obviously, Josh Allen. I'm pretty sure he led. No, actually, he didn't lead the NFL in turnovers because you know who did, Sam Howell. But I'm pretty sure Josh Allen had like 15 or 17 interceptions this past season, which is a lot. And that's due to his play style. Drake May also has that Josh Allen type play style. Uh, most of his comps, he's been getting compared a lot to Herbert and Josh Allen. I would like to say he's a mix of that, mix of those two. So. Which is pretty good, you know, Josh Allen, obviously a uh, top five quarterback in the NFL right now. He's got his really bad moments, but he's still an elite quarterback, all right? Um, some negatives on uh, Drake May. First off, he's a mobile quarterback. Would I say he's more mobile than Howell? You know what? I think I would. I think I would. The narrative saying, oh, we need a mobile quarterback, obviously, you know, that's what NFL offenses are shifting to now, getting a mobile quarterback. But Drake May... If he needs to run the football, if he needs to scramble, he will definitely do so. So, I like Drake May's, um, you know, mobility. His running ability, at least. Um, as for his weaknesses, he could work on some of his, um, some of his footwork and his pacing and sequencing. Um, he's tall, narrow, base sometimes forces him to widen late in reps when time is, scar is scarce. Um, obviously, like I said, his play style is like Josh Allen which could at times be really good, but at some times be pretty bad, all right, because he's got that Superman cape on. He could be careless with the ball sometimes. But overall, I love his accuracy. I love his arm strength. He's your prototypical type of quarterback, like I said. So 
I would love Drake May at number two. Next up, Jaden Daniels. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's just me, but I've been seeing on social media lately. Well, not even lately, for the past couple of weeks. People have been, you know, choosing Jaden Daniels. Like, if Caleb Williams is not on the board, uh, Commanders fans would rather go Jaden Daniels than Drake May at two. And like I said, I wouldn't be opposed to any of the big three quarterbacks at two. Um, with Jaden Daniels, I like Jaden Daniels a lot too. He's 6'4", 210 pounds. Uh, Mel Kuyper actually had us, well, has us taking Jaden Daniels at two in his first official um, 2024 NFL mock draft. Let me read uh, some piece here. I'm not going to read this whole um, thing, but I'm going to read probably like the second paragraph, some of this second paragraph. For his reasoning as to why he has us taking Daniels, he basically said the, raising, the reigning Heisman champ, um, Trophy winner Improved so much in 2023, throwing 40 touchdown passes to just four interceptions, which is pretty crazy, while going up against a tough SEC schedule. In December, I went deep on his strengths, weaknesses, and futures so you can see my full thoughts on his game there. The bottom line is it's tight between Daniels and May on my board, but Daniels would be a tremendous fit for a Washington roster that has some young playmakers on offense. May's inconsistency at the end of the season is enough for me to put Daniels at two. The reality, though, is the commanders just hire their new general manager and still don't have a coach, so there's a lot to figure out about which direction they go. So, yeah, there is a lot to figure out. I feel like if we hire Ben Johnson, Drake May is a commander. I I feel like, I mean, the connection is there. Ben Johnson, he went to UNC. Sam Howell, he went to UNC. Excuse me, the, the connection's already there. I feel like if we draft... Uh, well, I'm going to get to that at the end of the video, but Ben Johnson might be like, um, he might prefer Jaden Daniels over Drake May. So, mobile, he has a really good arm. He has a strong arm. Um, obviously, excellent burst, agility, and speed for his position. Um, he has above average pocket management and toughness. He has good ability to create. Obviously, a dangerous runner and thrower when he gets on the outside. And he's a pretty good pocket passer as well. Now, he does have some... Well, he, he has a good deep ball accuracy. He has good deep ball accuracies. He constantly drops the ball in the bucket. Some of his negatives, obviously his frame. He's 6'4", 210 pounds. He's a bit skinny. Now, you know who else was skinny coming out of college? Lamar Jackson. He weighed, I think, like 215 or 216 pounds. So that's, and, you know, obviously he is a top five quarterback in the NFL today. So I'm not too worried about Jaden Daniels' height, although like a couple hits and he could be um, injured for a while. So we'll see about that. Um, some of his other negatives, he has mediocre v- of velocity. He does need to improve on that. Um, he has, I'd say his deep ball accuracy is good. His medium accuracy can be co- inconsistent at some times. Also, when he's moving out of the pocket, um, when he gets out of the pocket, most of the times he uh, decides to run with the ball instead of throw the ball. So that's something he... That's something that might not work in the NFL all the time, but we'll see. Those are really the only negatives I have about Jaden Daniels. Um, about my preference, who, I, who would I prefer um, with Jaden Daniels and Drake May? I'm about to get to that right now. But overall, I like Jaden Daniels, and I wouldn't be mad at all if we took him with the second overall pick. All right, so for who I prefer, and like I've said multiple times in this video, I don't care who we draft between these two, between the big three at number two. But if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Drake May. Um, I've always been on the Drake May train because he's he's probably the most polished quarterback in this draft. He's more polished than um um sorry uh excuse me Jaden Daniels. You could even say Caleb Williams as well. Um, but he's he's a really good quarterback, and they're all three of them are good quarterbacks. But they all got their issues to fix. Obviously, Jaden Daniels he's a little slim and has some you know accuracy issues just some just some um uh drake may he has some he needs to work on his footwork a little bit and caleb williams caleb williams is also like obviously people have been comparing him to patrick mahomes and stuff he's six i think he's like six and six versus ranked opponents uh which you know is a little questionable but um caleb williams he's still the best quarterback in this um draft so they they all got their own issues to work on but I would, if Caleb Williams is not there at two, I would prefer the commanders to take Drake May over Jaden Daniels. So 
that's it for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Comment down below. Who would you rather have, Jaden Daniels or Drake May at two? Um, like I said, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on the 3K subs. If you could, hit that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.